What's up, everybody? It's Gummelax, and welcome back to another Omni Science Draft. That is not how it's pronounced, but that's how I'm going to say it today. So, pick one, pack one here. We have a Garno, which can be really strong. Uh, the important part of this text, since you're casting everything for free in this por format, uh, is that it returns all creature cards in your graveyard that were put there from anywhere this turn. So, Garna can be a really explosive play with stuff like Windgrace Acolyte, uh, Dark Bargain, Weight of Memory, all that self-mill stuff. It is very possible that you just self-mill your stuff a decent amount, pick up, you know, even if you pick up just one creature that you milled, this card is definitely good. And if you manage to pick up more than one creature with Garna, then it's really, really good. It is possible, but not super likely, to just win on turn one with this if you mill yourself with cards like Weight of Memory and Dark Bargain a bunch, and then play a Garna, pick up all those creatures, cast them all, because they also get haste that turn. Uh, so yeah, Garna, a very explosive card. Precognition Field could be really good. It could be. The problem with it is that the Omniscience album, album, Emblem only makes cards that you cast from your hand free. So, while you can cast the top card of your library if it's an instant or sorcery with Precognition Field, you have to spend your 5 mana per turn on that, which is 1 white, 1 blue, 1 black, 1 red, 1 green. So it can't cast double blue cards like Weight of Memory, or double black cards like Final Parting, and it can only really cast 1 per turn. So, I think this could be strong, but it's not as brutally absurd as it could be. Um... And obviously, if your top card of your library is ever just not an instant or sorcery, or it's an instant or sorcery that you can't cast, this card does basically nothing. Um, I guess it does have that 3 mana scry effect, so it's kind of like you can scry twice a turn. It's kind of a weird card to value. I do think it can definitely be good in this format, but... You have to have a very specific kind of uh, strategy. So I'm going to pick up Garna here. Because uh, I just think that it's very likely that we'll get just some stuff that combos with Garna. So, Guardians of Koilos is in this pack, and I kind of want to take it and just really go for it here, but there's a Divination, so I really hope that I wheel this Guardians of Koilos. So, if you don't know the combo, with Guardians of Koilos, if you have two copies of Guardians of Koilos, you get to play one, return the other copy, then play the other copy to return the first copy, and you can just keep doing that forever. So, if they both cause zero, then yeah, you just infinitely loop them. So if you have anything that triggers whenever you cast a Historic spell, which there are a few cards in the set that do, you can just kill your opponent immediately. Uh, if you have a Cabal if you have a cabal Paladin on the field and you draw two of your Guardians of Koilos, your opponent just dies. If you have the one blue and a colorless 1-3 that mills your opponent to whenever you cast a Historic spell, and you draw two Guardians of Koilos, your opponent just dies. So it's definitely a very exciting card. But it's really hard to take anything over Divination in this format. So I really hope I wheel the Guardians of Koilos. Because um, I would love to get multiples of it. So, here we have a Yargle, which is cool. Uh, but we have Flame of Killed, which is pretty good. Uh, the only time this isn't good is if you end up with a deck with a lot of counter spells, because that's basically the only time you can't just empty your hand before you play this on the field. Uh, so Flame of Keld, it's basically just a slower Divination. But that's still really good. There's also Opt, which is a great card that we'd love to see wield, but I'm not sure how likely it is. Uh, never take a Blood Tallow Candle. It costs 6 mana to use the ability. You only get 5 mana for abilities per turn. Uh, so that's just a random recommendation there. So here we have a Divination. Pretty impossible to take anything over a Divination. Like, the only thing you take over a Divination is, like, a Weight of Memory. So we have the same kind of situation where we have three really good cards here. Dark Bargain is like a better Divination. Weight of Memory is also like a better Divination, but Weight of Memory is a little bit better than Dark Bargain. Dark Bargain, you look at the top three, pick one of them. and uh, Or you look at the top three, pick two of them to draw and mill the other one. Weight of Memory, you just draw three and mill three, so this card's just great. It's also really good with Garna. Uh, Final Parting as well can be really, really good, but I think I want to just take the Weight of Memory first here and hopefully get a Final Parting later. Um... So yeah, yet again, another pack with just some draw spells. I don't think we can take anything over that. We could take a Cabal Baladin if we were really going for Guardians of Koilos. That deck, but I think we just take Dark Bargain. Works great with Garna. 
and it's strictly better than Divination, so... Well, not strictly better, because it does damage you a tiny bit, but it is really good. Uh, so this pack here... All of these cards are not particularly good in this format. I think Yabamaya Sapherd might be the best, just because it creates two blockers. Uh, Academy Journey Mage could be two as, could be good as well uh, to slow down your opponent. So if you're at like seven or less life and they play like a Thorn Elemental, Yabamaya Sapherd isn't going to do anything. Whereas Journey Mage could slow them down one turn by making them just recast it and not attack next turn. So. Yeah, I think I'll go with the Academy Journey Mage here. Fungal Plots sometimes would be okay, but I'm not going to take the Fungal Plots because I don't think it's that good in this format, just because cards like Soul Salvage can be really good. Soul Salvage, a 3-mana sorcery that you return two uh, creatures from a grave to your hand. Uh, so here's another Dark Bargain. Here, pick 9. I guess we take a Befuddle. It lets us draw a card. We could also take an Unwind. Unwind can be okay. If your opponent ever casts a Weight of Memory, that can almost always just chain into them killing you. Or not killing you, but it can just chain into them drawing like a lot of cards and just getting a major card advantage on you. So having cards like Unwind that can counter their Weight of Memory or Divination is actually pretty good. Uh, but I don't know if it's better than just a Befuddle, just to make the deck a little bit smaller and more consistent. I mean, we have... One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six draw power cards already, so I'm actually just going to take Unwind here. The only problem with Unwind is it does not combo with Flame of Keld. Because if we have Unwind and we want to draw two cards next turn, then we're just losing a card by casting Flame of Keld. Uh, so here I will take a Guardians of Koilos. I do think Adventurous Impulse is pretty good in this format. Look at the top three. Pick a creature or land from among them, put it into your hand. So you basically just pick a creature, but... That's almost always going to be something pretty good. Um, but I'm just going to take Guardians of Koilos, just in case I can end up in that strategy. And if not, it's still a 4-4, which is a decently sized body. Um, here we'll take the 5-5 five, five Trample. Here we will take the guy that can get Indestructible. And we'll take another uh, Indestructible Blocker here. And a Homerate Explorer, which is really not a bad last pick, because we can mill ourselves again to help fuel our Garna or Soul Savages and stuff like that. Um, so this would normally be a really hard pick, because there is a 5-6 flyer in here, but there's a weight of memory. You just can't take really anything over something that draws that many cards in this format when you get to cast the spells for free. Um, I think we take Divination here. Baird is basically useless. They get 5 mana per turn, so... They can still attack you with five dudes. Uh, Thorn Elemental is quite good, though. Torgar is quite good. Like, we have nice, massive bodies, but again, just chaining divinations is really the strongest thing you can do in the format by a long shot. Uh, this pack's not super strong. We could take an Unwind, but those tend to go really late, and we already have one. Or we could take just the 4-4 four, four Flyer. So for kicker costs in this format, you do have to spend the 5 mana that it gives you every turn. You can't just cast it for free and do the kicker cost for free. But we don't have a whole lot. I don't think we have anything, actually, that we need to use our extra mana for. We just have the Drudge Sentinels. Yeah, we can afford to just sp spend the uh, additional mana on Academy Drake's kicker cost here. Um... Yeah, I mean, I think that's the pick. We could also just take an Amaranthine Wall, but I don't want, like, too many just un unblockable, or er, indestructible ground blockers. Unwind might really be the pick, though, but... I'm gonna take another creature, just so we have more fuel for Garna. Um... Pretty hard pick, because we could take a really powerful large creature, but final parting is just ridiculous with Garna. I don't think we can take anything other than Final Parting here. Because Final Parting, we could either just like get a Weight of Memory and just start drawing a bunch of cards, or we could grab a Garna and put another creature into the grave, and then we cast Garna, return the creature that we put into the grave with Final Parting, and we've basically just drawn two really good cards. At minimum. And if we've milled other cards that same turn, uh, then Garna just does even more action. So I think it's Final Parting here. Um, 
We can take an Unwind. We could also take a Wind Grace Acolyte. Rite of Bells and Lock, I think, is pretty slow for this format, because this format's just blisteringly fast. You do end up in board stalls, but I think if you're ending up in a board stall, then just the creature making you sacrifice your other stuff is going to be bad, too. Um... Yeah, it's it's Unwind, Coldwater Snapper, or Windgrace Acolyte. I guess I'll take Windgrace Acolyte. We would love to pick up a second copy of Garna here. That would be very good. I think we do definitely need to start picking up some large creatures. None of this stuff's that large. There's a Guardian of Koilos. Or an Opt. I guess I'll take the Guardian. Just so the dream is alive to combo people off. It's technically possible. Um... Take another Drudge Sentinel. I'm going to have a lot of Drudge Sentinels here. I could take another Unwind. Or I think I just need large creatures now. So let's pick up the Cold Water Snapper. Pick up the 5-5. Five five. And now we'll take another Unwind. Soul Salvage or another Big Dude? We have so much self mill. Soul Salvage has to be good. But so does the big dude. I'm going to take the big dude. Maybe not the right choice. Now we have a third copy of Unwind. Llanowar Scout. Good old does absolutely nothing in this format dot card. <laughs> but it is a 1-3, I guess. Uh, but not really something you want to be doing. So another Precognition Field. Which we can cast Divinations off of it. Cast Unwinds off of it. We can cast Dark Bargains off of it. There are a decent amount of cards we could cast off of it. I do feel like I just want big creatures, though. could also take Urza's Tome. Draw a card, discard a card, unless you exile a historic card from your grave. It's like draw a card, discard a card every turn. Probably pretty good. This is a hard pick. This is a hard format. Kelton Raider is a card I like a lot, too. Just because you end up with these mediocre cards in your deck, this lets you discard one of them and just draw something better, hopefully, while still getting a 4-3 body on the field. There's also Opt. Opt just always makes your deck better. That's all it does. It's just, like, a slightly more consistent deck now. Um, Yeah, we really don't have a lot... In terms of, like, powerful stuff. We're just hoping to draw a lot more cards than our opponent. I'm going to try out the Precognition Field. Just because it's a rare, so you don't get to try it out as often. And I really want to see how well it works. So, Steal Away's Removal. Blink of an Eye draws a card and deals with something temporarily. Arvod is another decently powerful creature. We only have one legendary dude, though, so Arvod's probably not that great, but he's a 3-3 death touch lifelink. So he can stop them from attacking at the very least. I think I'll just take the blink of an eye. Here. Take another Guardians of Koilos. Then we really want to get stuff that triggers whenever you cast a a historic spell? We have the card draw to try to get there. We also have a final parting to combo with it. This is probably the dumbest pick I've made so far. I should definitely just take a Homerid Explorer at this point. Maybe even an Onsar's Wings. But I'm going to take Guardians of Koilos. Please, something that triggers when I cast historic spells. Bam! Cabal Paladin got there. Yep. Cabal Paladin it is. Something that triggers when I cast historic spells? Nothing that triggers when I cast Historic Spells. Alright, that's unfortunate. We could get a fourth copy of Unwind, or we could get... What on earth does this do? Choose four non-enchantment permanents you don't control, put an aim counter on them. At the beginning of your end step, if two or more permanents you don't control, have an aim counter on them, destroy one of them. So this, like, slowly... I guess not that slowly. You play this, and it kills one of their creatures at random, and then it does it again. They have to have four things on the board for this to do anything, though. It's probably okay. 
okay, but I'm not super sure about it, so I'm just going to take a Wind Grace Acolyte. Perfect. We got a Diligent Excavator. So this kind of sucks, because another Dark Bargain would make our deck insanely consistent, but I want more than one win condition with these Guardians of Koilos, and we only have one right now. We only have Cabal Paladin. So I'm going to take Diligent Excavator. I really want to combo somebody off, and that's like forcing me to draft a little bit more poorly than I would usually. I usually draft just pretty poorly, and now I'm drafting very poorly. So we'll take an opt to make the deck more consistent. Definitely helps with us trying to get our combo win. Second opt for the same reason. <laughs> Zelfir and Void for the same reason? No, that seems bad. Um, these all seem bad, though. Maybe an Arbor Armament. It'll deal with a flyer at the very least. We can, <laughs> we can also have a Sarah Disciple and make it a 20... We can make it an infinite infinite, and that could be a third kind of... Yeah, that's definitely the weakest of our win cons in terms of trying to combo out. Uh, but it it's technically one of them. Uh, we'll take the spider... Ancient Animus, I guess? And then, I don't want to play either of these. I don't want to play that. So we get to... We don't get to cut anything. At this point. I really want to cut a Llanowar Scout, but then I'm just putting in a Llanowar Scout, so... I guess this is the deck we're running. This is a weird deck. Uh, I think this deck's going to be really random whether it does well or not. There's so much draw power, though. And that could just make your deck good for no reason. Dark Bargain, honestly, was definitely the pick over the Diligent Excavator, but Diligent Ex Excavator is so much funnier. This hand's great. Divination, double Guardians of Koilos, let's go. Come on. Come on. Please. 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 <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm gonna actually mill them, so that I don't accidentally mill two guardians. Let's do it. Let's do it! Oh my god. Please. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this game... Oh no! We are out of draw cards. However will we win at this point? See, I don't get to just auto-kill my opponent now. That's so lame. That's so lame. I mean, we're in a good spot, though. Did they put a land in their deck? Isolated Chapel, the Rare Draft Isolated Chapel. I can respect that. If you want one for your collection, you go right ahead. So we're going to mill them two and do two damage to them. And now we have Unwinds as backup, and we just hope to draw the second Guardian. Come on. Well, that is what I was talking about with draw power. We have eight cards in our grave. We've played so many cards that turn. So Whisper Blood Liturgist, Return Lingering Phantom. They're going to have dudes on board. We can't just kill them with combat. Grand Warlord Rada. I might fight that. Coldwater Snapper. Yeah, let's... Fight Rada. Have our 4-4 four, four kill their 3-4. We have Unwinds to protect it if they try to kill it, because I really want to keep the Koilos out there. Lingering Phantom. Their, f their field is better than mine, and now they have a Whisper with a gigantic grave. So I probably should have fought Whisper, and I'm kind of an idiot, because I didn't. Yeah, I really should have fought Whisper. I don't know why I was so worried about the Grand Warlord. Wait a memory. Let's draw... Our Koilos boys. Come on. Koilos boy is here! Alright, are you ready? Are you ready? Because it's happening. You better be ready for this.
Boop. Here we go. <laughs> okay. I'm so happy right now, it's ridiculous. I am so happy right now. <laughs> we did it. I don't care if I lose every other round. The deck did the thing. It did the thing. That's all I've wanted to do. That's all I've wanted to do the second that I saw Guardians of Coilos was in this format. This is the best. This is just the best. I'm sure my opponent is not having as good of a time as I am, but I am fucking to the moon right now. That was a curse word. I am sorry. I apologize. I try to refrain, but sometimes I get really excited. <sighs> it happens. I, I work on the truck crew at a retail place, so... That's, most of my life I've just worked with uh, truck unload crews, so... <laughs> I am around lots of profanity all the time. So are they gonna lose life before they mill out? Or are they gonna mill out before they lose life here? Or at the same time? No. No, they're gonna... Um, they're gonna lose their life before they get milled out. There we go! We did the thing. We had all three of our win cons out as well. The 1010 Sarah Disciple, alongside Diligent Excavator and Cabal Paladin. So, if anyone didn't believe me about the Guardians of Koilos being a legitimate strategy, there you go. There you have it. Um, that doesn't actually legitimize it as a strategy, it just shows that it can actually win. Doesn't mean it's a good strategy. But if you see Guardians of Koilos, I would pick those relatively high. I think we auto-win. Oh no, they're going first. We don't. We don't. Because they could just do something and auto-win here. Final parting? Oh yeah. Garna dump something in the grave? I guess I should have Dark Bargain there and try to hit a counter spell. Yeah, I should have done that. That was pretty stupid of me. Oh, they just throw Blessings of Bells and Lock in the grave, though, so they don't just, like, Garna combo immediately, at least. Weight of Memory. Targeting me. They're gonna mill me. Okay. Toss a Weight of Memory and random stuff I don't care about. Okay. I yet again... Okay, I really need to actually use this. We'll take Garna. We take Garna, we just win? That seems good. That seems real good. Take Garna Divination. Especially if they mill double Guardians of Koilos, this is going to be the funniest game in the world. Because they're choosing to mill me still, and I have a Garna here. So we just Garna and step. Wind Grace Acolyte. Lingering Phantom. Please don't have a counter spell. This will be the saddest day if they have a counter spell. Talarian Scholar. They've got the board. They definitely have the draw power in their deck for sure. Befuddle on Phantom. I don't just lose if they counter Garna, because I still have Excavator with Divination and Final Parting, so I only need to naturally draw one Guardians of Koilos to win if I get them to spend their counter spell on Garna. And if they don't spend their counterspell on Garna, or they don't have a counterspell, then I just have a million creatures. Wow! Look at my hand! <laughs> oh, there's a Guardians! Y'all ready to win? Oh, they didn't let me do it! Oh my god, I could have searched for the second Guardians, cast Diligent Excavator, and just chained Guardians, but they just scooped! Oh, that's so lame! That was my second win in a row with uh, Guardians of Koilos looping.
Garna's ridiculous in this format. The first time I drafted this format, I did not really pay attention to Garna until you can see the point at which I realize it later in that video. Um, and then I'm like, wait a second, Garna's great. Uh, now I know for sure, now that I have the Garna, I'm, I'm really feeling it. Wind Grace Acolyte with Weight of Memory here is so beautiful with Garna. Oh, they must just have counters. Oh no. They're just gonna like stop my fun here. Just counter all of my fun. I think we wait of memory first. Please don't counter me. No, you suck. I hate you. All right. Yep. Oh, get our stuff back. And we have haste, so we just hit him for like 50,000. I'm gonna hit you for a lot. Like a lot, a lot. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, plus 4. I'm gonna hit them for 13 here. Well, we didn't get to draw a bunch of cards, but we got to cast a Garna, so that's just as good, right? Garna for nothing. Feels bad. Feels bad for opponent. They're down to six now, so... Their next card better be a good draw. But again, in this format, you never know. They could just draw into a uh, divination and start... drawing like 15 cards a turn. This format's dumb. <laughs> this format's dumb, but I enjoy it. <laughs> I'm having a really good time with this deck. The last game, that wasn't as fun, but... Guardians of Koilos. Loop the Guardians. Historic spell them to death. <sighs> like my opponent's username. Magic Derp. Respectable. Opponent goes first. This is the third time in a row my opponents have gone first. That's kind of irritating, but it's worked out so far, so... I'm like, dude, I can't turn one them with Guardians of Koilos combos? Yes, mill me. But I gotta unwind that. <laughs> I was like, yes, target me with that. But then I was like, wait, I don't even have the guard in my hand anyway. Oh, Slimefoot. Slimefoot's really strong, uh, if you watched my last draft. It's just a better Verdant Force in this format. Let's draw two. Let's draw two. Final parting for a Guardians of Koilos? I could final parting for Garna Guardians of Koilos and return Garna when I cast a Guardians of Koilos. Yeah, and then I just have to draw into one of my win cons. That seems good. And I just counter anything non creature they do, so we're gonna take a Garna. And. Is there anything better than Guardians of Koilos here? Armored Explorer, uh, but I can't cast it before Garna, so actually probably not. Yeah, we'll take uh, Garna and Guardians of Koilos. One card into my hand, we'll put Garna in my hand. We'll play Garna. Get the Guardians back, put the Garna back. Then we can play them again if they mill me more for some reason. I don't know why they would, but they could. And then if I get like Dark Bargain and stuff, I can even just mill my win con with Guardians to win the game. So, all I need to do is draw something that cares about historic spells before they can kill me with sapperlings. Thorn Elemental, that's not good. So that's another Slimefoot the Stowaway. Er, <laughs> that's another Sapperling. No, Slimefoot doesn't just copy himself, he just makes more sapperlings. Pardic Wanderer. 
Alright. Things are getting scary. That Thorn Elemental's a pretty big deal. Um, could just cast Garna, but I'll just instant speed Garna. If I cast a Guardians now, then I can't just combo kill them, because I have to cast the Guardians to return the other Guardians. Oh god, no. That's not happening. <laughs> I don't even need to read that card to know it's not happening. You can't lose the game and it has Hexproof. Whenever you gain life, draw that many cards, or if you lose life for each life, you lost exile a permanent you control. So I couldn't even mill them to death if they had that out. Yeah, I'm super countering that card. I don't think I'm playing Garna out here yet. Academy Drake? Oh god, they're getting really close to lethal on me here. All I need is one card, man. Come on. So they're currently at 7 plus 6. They're at 11 damage no matter what I do. Yes, way to memory me. I actually want that to resolve. I don't really care that much what they draw. That gets me closer to getting something like Sarah Disciple that could win it. Unfortunately, Sarah Disciple does not win it. Immediately, it, it takes two turns. But it could. Theoretically. And I have the second unwind if they drew, like, another draw spell that I really need to get rid of. So there's an elephant. But yeah, no, you see what I'm saying? I let that resolve, because if they mill the Cabal Paladin or a Diligent Excavator, then I just win. Because I return it with Garna. And play it next turn. So I could potentially win, just by having a Sarah Disciple here. But I don't do it immediately, which is kind of a problem. Because they're going to win very soon. Weight of memory them. Don't want to end up milling the card I need. Oh, we still didn't get there. Guy's blessing. That's fine. So diligent excavator does not kill them. Now we know that. Diligent excavator, not a win con. It's important to note. So we need Cabal Paladin, or we need them to not have a flyer for the Sarah Disciple. And then Sarah Disciple, by far our slowest win condition, but it will kill them next turn if they don't have reach or flying. So if they don't kill me this turn, or play something with flying or reach, or kill my Sarah Disciple, that's a lot of ifs. That is a lot of ifs, but we could win. Final parting. I don't think I can let that resolve, because they'll just kill me. That makes it, like, really likely they just kill me. Potent gives me the nice. I respect that. I appreciate that. Oh my god. Oh my god, if they don't have removal... Please don't have removal. I'm not going to say good game, because it might let me get some more triggers off of this if they do have removal and they just don't realize it yet. Don't realize the combo yet. I will say good game in a little bit. Because it is game. If they don't. Oh, they're realizing it now. They're realizing it now. Do they have the counters? Or the, uh... The removal for Guardians of Koilos? Cast down on Koilos? Then I pick up Garna and cast Garna? Oh my god, please have cast down. That would be so cool. To just be like, lol, got him. Uh, but if they're smart, then they can do it in response to my trigger on the stack, and then I can't just choose Garna at that point. 
So, it, like, if they have a removal spell and they use it right now on Guardians, then I can still win because I can choose to pick up Garna. But if they use it right now on the Guardians that I just targeted, I lose. All right. No removal. Guardians of Koilo's combo does it again. Third time. Third time we got the combo kill. That's so fun. I'm sure that... I am sure my opponents are hating it, but I am loving it. Look, no losses. You can't go wrong with Guardians of Koilo's combo. That's what we've learned here today, folks. That's what we've learned. This is actually best deck in format. Like, uh... 100%... For serious guys? Like, really? Oh my god, my opponent goes first. That's like the fourth time in a row now. Can we? Can I go first, please? I would love it. I want to get a turn one kill. Guy's blessing, targeting me. I like it. I respect the play. I might just lose. That is five cards they've drawn. Double Divination plus a Gaia's Blessing for the draw one. Here's Get to Chronicler, draw two more off Divination. We'll see how crazy they go here. Are they playing Guardians of Koilos combo? <laughs> I would really respect that. Divest? Okay. That just kills one of my creatures, so that's fine. Surprised with the Divest there. Divest is actually really good against my deck, but I think most of the time Divest is just bad. They have Hexproof, that's actually not a problem with Cabal Paladin, because I don't think Cabal Paladin targets Garna. Okay. I have to mill myself, thanks to Shalai. But I think I would anyway. There's a Sarah Disciple. Draw two. Now we have Blink of, I Blink of an Eye to bounce Shalai if I have to. For my win con. We'll play precog field. See if we get a divination on top. Pomard Explorer. I think we want to cast Homard Explorer, mill ourselves for cast Garna. So we blink of an eye. Targeting Shalai with Kicker to draw it. And they don't have Hexproof anymore. This is, We are really just playing a combo deck here. This is not a regular game of Magic. But most people are playing a combo deck, but mine's like really a combo deck. Final Parting on top. That actually gets there because we have Garna in hand, right? If we draw Final Parting... I should have looked at what we had on top. So if we draw Final Parting... We cast Final Parting... For Guardians of Koilos and a win con? Yeah. Yeah, that gets there. So we cast it for Cabal Paladin and Guardians of Koilos. They have Gaia's Blessing in their deck, so we yeah, we need Cabal Paladin specifically. So... Final parting. We're gonna grab Cabal Paladin, Guardians of Koilos. Guardians of Koilos... Cabal Paladin. And we'll put uh, Cabal Paladin into our hand, so it's a little bit faster. We play Cabal Paladin. We play Garna. Play stuff. Just in case they have a counter spell, so that they're still dead, because I'm playing all this other stuff. Cold Water Snapper. We couldn't kill them with Diligent Excavator, thanks to uh, Gaia's Blessing. But now we Gardens of Koilos into Guardians of Koilos. We'll bounce Garna for fun, I guess. This deck is strong. <laughs> this deck is really good. Give him the good game. Yeah, 
and they'll see the combo now. They got the removal. Looks like maybe not. There's the scoop! Wow. <laughs> if you can't tell, I am a Johnny at heart. Johnny are players that love just doing combos and finding s different strategies that are really, like, combo-centric. That was our first turn. This deck is stupid. Five wins. Zero losses. This hand is by far the worst hand we've drawn so far, but we'll see. This might be... we might finally lose a game. Do I even... do I actually mulligan this? Maybe I do. This is way better. This hand's so good. Ooh, Diligent Excavator? This hand's the hand. Seems good. Seems good. So, weight of memory's gone. But that's okay. Fuddle, draw a card. Final parting. Yeah, turn one skin witch is a pretty big problem. But we've started the game with basically a hand that's identically good. Because last game we would have just kept our 4-4, kept Guardians of Koilos, and that's all we would have in hand. Just Guardians of Koilos, and then we're hoping to top deck. Now we have just a Garna, and we're hoping to top deck. Yeah, we've lost. We have lost. Double final parting. <sighs> Loud Reader Sphinx. Scry some cards. Both go to bottom. There's a Garna. Pretty strong. Okay, so this hand was strictly better than the three card hand, because if we kept the three card hand, they just skin witch again. Oh, wait, they don't actually have the mana to make us discard more cards. Uh, well, we're pretty dead. This is strictly better, though, because I get to chump block and not die immediately. Uh, but the fact that I left Excavator on top makes it so we definitely lose, so I'm just going to scoop. Uh, opponent got to get the turn one Garna kill with the haste, which is pretty nice. But is that as nice as a turn one Guardians of Koilos kill? I don't think so. I don't subscribe to that ideology. I think Guardians of Koilos is far superior. Oh. Uh, friendly reminder that this is the sixth game in a row that we've gone second. Which is like a massive deal in this format. Is this the fifth game in a row or the sixth? I think it's the sixth. Might just be the fifth. So, like, if we top deck a Guardians of Koilos, we win. Otherwise, we're kind of screwed. They did mill one of our Guardians, which is a problem. They also mill Dark Cabal Paladin. But we still have one more Guardians of Koilos. That is not a great draw. Here's a Diligent Excavator. Here's a Snapper. Here's a Scout. Here's a Guardian. Bill you two. Run and a Wizard's Retort. Okay. Well, we cannot combo them anymore, so I kind of want to just scoop because I'm really irritated by that, but 
I can still definitely win. You have a pump spell in your deck where everything's free? Oh yeah, Arbor Armament. That one's about the only one. And that's kind of like your 39th or 40th card, because everything else just sucks. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with that. We did draw the weight of memory, so... <laughs> I shouldn't have scooped, but... I didn't see the weight of memory until I already scooped in. I just want to win with Guardians of Koilos, man. I don't want to win with regular creatures. I'm not here to always play what's right. I'm here to play what's fun. And if you just made it so I can't Guardians of Koilos kill, I'll just scoop so I can do it next game. Finally! Alright, I go first. Go first this time. Weight of memory ourselves. Dark Bargain, Wind Grace, Cabal Paladin. Dark Bargain. Take a Guardian. Take a Death Toucher. Opt. Armored Explorer. I don't have any more card draw this turn, so I won't be able to... Garna, so I don't think that Hammered Explorer is actually any good. So, 4-5 Hexproof? That's fine. Let's just play all our dudes now, I think. And we'll play a Flame of Keld. This card an Ancient Animus to draw more cards next turn. Alright. We'll see what our opponent starts with. Divination. Divination. Slinvoda. Bounce all our dudes. Alright. You know, that means I can cast Guardian to put Flame of Keld back in my hand, so that's actually really good for me, unless they play a Garna. No Garna, looks like. So we're taking five from Skizik. And now we get to do stuff. Let's draw two. There's a Garden Zakoilos, come on. Diligent Excavator. That's a Garna. Garna doesn't actually do anything right now, though. We have lost our Cabal Paladin, but we still have a Sarah Disciple and a Diligent Excavator for the Guardians of Koilos. could no it doesn't make any sense like i could i could bounce flame of keld and then cast it and put garn on the stack but that doesn't matter it's like the same as just casting everybody anyway hopefully they play like a counter spell here so i can use my unwind instead of just discarding it to the flame of keld Wait, is there a way to make sure I have both of my Guardians of Koilos if I recast Flame of Keld? I don't think there is. I think I have to not recast Flame of Keld. Because it'll make me discard one of the Guardians. So we go play Guardian Boy again. I think we'll bounce it and just not replay it. And we'll play... Do I want to play Garden and give everything haste? Let's me get in there in the sky. Yeah, that's fine. We'll get in there in the sky. Get you for four. And pass the turn.
Adventurous Impulse. That resolves because it only draws one. They miss all instants and sorceries on top. So they send in with your boys. We're going to block like that, take five. So they bounce Slinvoda to recast it here. Soul Salvage. That's targeting Skizik. Oh, it's literally just targeting Skizik. They're going to have a Slinvoda back here. Slinvoda gets blocked by Feral Abomination. Block their Feral Abomination with these two. We block that with that. I think we don't want them to have Skizik. Because we're at six. It is really rough to have to counter that, but we're at six. I really should just play this Flame of Keld. But god, I don't wanna... I don't wanna... I only have a Diligent Excavator in here, and that's the only other way that I can... combo off. I don't think I'm comboing off. I guess I do have Sarah Disciple as well. Alright, well, we're Flame of Kelding. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. And we're also going to end up blocking with Guardians of Koilos, which is pretty lame. And I guess we don't have to. We can block Slinvoda with the 5-5 and Feral Abomination with the Drudge Sentinel. And that just gets the scoop! Alright, well, I wanted to do the combo thing, but that's getting me killed. Wanting to do the combo is getting me killed so bad, because last game I could have tried to actually come back because I drew a weight of consciousness or a weight of memory um, right after I scooped. <laughs> so if I didn't scoop, I would have just like drawn three cards and tried to get there. Uh, but then I might have just cast Unwind and just really put me on tilt. I don't know. Opponent goes first. So my opponent has gone first the vast majority of this tournament, but that's okay. Final game here, we have a Wind Grace, Acolyte, and a Dark Bargain, so if we can get a Garna, then this hand is sick. We'll have to see. Opponent mulligans to two cards, probably trying to mulligan into draw power. Mulligans to one. And scoops. Well, unfortunately I did, got, I did not get to combo off with Guardians of Koilos one last time. But I got to combo off with them again, and that is another 7-win run of the Omniscience Draft. Probably, not probably, it maybe could have been 7-1 and one instead of 7-2 and two if I didn't scoop that one game, but I think it was really unlikely to live still. Um, but again, not a game that I should have scooped if all I was doing was trying to win. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. I think... I hope that you all had fun seeing the Guardians of Koilos combos that you can do in Omniscience Draft in action, uh, and I hope that you learned something about it. It's definitely a cool combo that I would definitely recommend picking up Guardians of Koilos relatively highly. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.